For beginning and intermediate users alike, learning video editing techniques can be challenging. Fortunately, Premiere Elements provides guided video edits that walk you through the process of making common video edits step by step until you achieve the final result. Now I'm beginning this video in the Elements Organizer. Now I'm going to click on one of my video clips here and I'm going to click on the arrow to the right of the editor button and I'm going to choose video editor. And a dialog is going to let me know that it's going to send this video clip over to the Premiere Elements editor for editing. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and you can see that my video clip has been added to the timeline. Now I'm going to go ahead and expand the timeline just so that I can see my video clip a little bit more easily. And I'm going to play the first couple of seconds of this video so you can see what we have. While I was filming this video, I took a little bit of a spill, and I'd prefer that my friends don't see that part of this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the guided video edit to trim these frames. So I'm going to go ahead and come up here and click on the guided button, and that's going to open up a list of guided video edits that are available for me to choose from. You can see that I can do a quick five minute crash course of Premiere Elements. I can trim unwanted frames. I can add transitions between video clips, add scores, adjust brightness, contrast, and color, add a title, add narration, create a picture in picture, and animate graphics easily. Now I want to choose one of the options up here at the top. I want to trim unwanted frames. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that option. Now this is a really neat feature because it really walks you through every step of the process. So it starts off by letting you know that while you're creating your movie, there will be sections of video that you don't want to use. And the guided video edit is going to show you how to remove these. So we go ahead and click the next button and that takes us to the first step. And you can see this arrow down here that's pointing to the beginning of the video clip. And this is showing us how we can trim the beginning. So I'm going to hover my cursor over the beginning of this video clip and I'm going to drag to the right to trim some of this video. And we can watch the main monitor to see where we're going to begin this video. So I think that's a good spot to start. So I'm going to let go and you can now see that we've trimmed the video to that point. Now we'll go ahead and click the next button and now it's going to show us how we can trim the end. So I'll go ahead and come over here, click and drag to the left and that's going to allow me to remove part of the end of this video. So why don't we stop it right about there. Now I'm going to go ahead and click the next button and this is where we're really going to make use of this because as you can see we can delete a section of our video clip. So you can see that it's telling me to move the CTI or the current time indicator to the beginning of the unwanted section of video. So I'm going to do that now. So right when the snowboarder exits the frame, I'm going to put my current time indicator. Instructions are telling me up here at the top, it wants me to click on the scissors icon and that's going to split my video clip. And now it's telling me to do the same thing to identify the end of the unwanted section. So now I'm going to move my current time indicator to the end of the unwanted section. And then I'm going to click on the scissors icon once again. And now you can see that this is my unwanted section. So I can delete this section by simply clicking on it and pressing the delete key on my keyboard. And now that section has been totally removed and it says that we're now done. So I go ahead and click the done button and I'm going to move the current time indicator so we can see how the section has been removed. And I'll click the play button. None of my friends will be any the wiser. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on the organizer button and we're going to add one more video clip here. Once again, click on the editor button and choose video editor. And then I'll click OK to add that to the end of my timeline. So I'm going to go ahead and move down a little bit. Now this particular video clip is much darker in nature. I'm actually going to click to put my current time indicator there and we can see how much darker and how blue it is. So we're going to do another guided video edit. Go ahead and click the guided button. This time I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to choose the Adjust Brightness, Contrast, and Color. So 
I'll go ahead and choose that option. And once again, it's going to walk me through the steps. So we simply click on next. So it's telling us to adjust the video clip, we have to select it. So we'll just make sure that's selected. And then over here, we have the adjust button. So we'll click on that. As the guided edit window describes, you can adjust brightness, contrast, and exposure. So we'll go ahead and go to exposure. And each one of these icons represents more or less exposure. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. You can see how it lightened up my main image. Maybe we want to go a little bit more. So you can keep clicking on these. If at any point you want to reset it back to where it was, you can drag the scroll bar and click on the reset button to take it back to the original clip. But I think I like a little bit more exposure to lighten this up. And then we'll go ahead and click on next. Now we can also adjust the color as explained in the guided edit window. You can see that we can adjust the hue, lightness, saturation, and vibrance. So what I want to do is remove this color cast, so I'm just going to quickly click on one of these desaturated versions, and you can see now we've removed that color cast. I'm going to go ahead and click on the next button, and then it tells me that I've now learned how to make basic changes in the color. So I'm going to click on done, and we've now completed two very powerful guided video edits for our project. If you're happy with this, you can go ahead and click on save and save your project for later editing. As you can see, guided video edits make learning and using Premiere Elements a snap by guiding you through common video edits that you would likely need to apply to your own Premiere Elements video projects.